Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, aka Hollywood J Black, live in the building once again. Back with another sinful black reacts. I got my main mans, my main 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 mans, my main my main my main my main 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 man. Big <coughs> MF and sitters in the building. How you doing today, sir? Hi. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, I am doing well. Um, so last week. People who watched the Bad Woods video, I said that I did not like what I heard from the Bad Wolves zombie cover, but I said I will give it <clears throat> the spirit a chance to check it out. Well, I've heard this song a gazillion times, this version of the song, but I love hearing it, and I hope Big Sin can give give uh, one shot, one opportunity to this song. Like, <coughs> Eminem got his one shot and one opportunity to 8 Mile. I, I feel, I feel, I feel that. The difference this. is, my knees are not weak and my arms are not heavy. There's no vomit on my sweater already. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> but you're a little bit nervous. But on the surface, you do look calm and ready to drop bombs. Because the okay, so <laughs> let me put some preference here. When I was in high school, living in Bullhead City, Arizona, I was introduced to the Cranberry Zombie, mm -hmm. and I fell in love with the original song and her voice. So it's very hard for me to look past that version of the song. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's why I'm here. You get to enjoy life with me, sir. This is the fun part. We get to enjoy this together in in holy, unholy matrimony, and and that's what it is. Till death do us part. Yeah, you're right. So yeet. All right. So without further yeet. ado, <laughs> this. Is Bad Wolves Big Sin's first time seeing the video with Zombie right here on Sinful Black Reacts? Let's go. So sensitive. Oh, there you go. January 15, 2018. The Cranberries and Orisa Riordan was set to reprise her iconic vocals on Bad Wolves cover of Zombie. That day, she tragically left the world. Yeah. In her memory, Bad Wolves released this song, donating the proceeds to her children. That's awesome. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I get hyped when I hear this damn song. Let me, oh, I feel that tingle in my spine. I know Big Sin is kind of, he's, he's trying. I'm trying to look past my bias. I am I, really I know, trying I know. hard. See, I know how much this song means to you. So what I'm trying to do is kind of like a double door, right? 
I'm giving you the same song, but I'm giving it to you on the left door. And we normally we normally never open the left door in this double door house, Mick Sailors, okay? I understand that, okay? It's, 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 we never open the left door. It's stuck and it has a rusty latch. And every time we open it, the door possibly falls off, okay? I get that, okay? I get See, that. See, unfortunately, and also, I'm getting a little emotional because yeah. I know the song. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Dude, I, this song, especially the way that they put it, and given where we were two years ago, yeah. this is, it's it's the same shit. Like, the same shit that she was talking back in, was it, we were talking about 94, 95? 94, 94 95, 96, so the same, those years. The same shit we talk about, 94, 95, we're talking about in 2018. What, we haven't learned shit. That's See, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm really trying. I mean, I, I told you in the last Bad Wolves video, I love the homeboy's voice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And knowing that she greenlit this project means she enjoyed it too. Yeah. Um, I do like the fact that all the proceeds went to her children. Yeah. That That is excellent in my book. Which is, but we have found in these covers, we do kind of have biases towards the originals, like the Gangster's Paradise cover. Yeah. We yeah. love Falling in Reverse, but it was not the tier that Coolio did the song. Yeah, yeah. Although I will say I love the blank space cover that we did. That was hilarious. Yes. It was the awesome. The Taylor Swift blank space by Andre Bell was fantastic. Yes. I can make a good girl back for the weekend. Oh, sorry about that. All right, let, let, let's push on this. You know, and I know you see me struggling with it. I know. I'm I know you're trying, sir. Just keep it. Let's keep it going. Yep. That's the day that she passed. Yeah. 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 I was wondering, I was like, shit, that's, man, that's a dedication, man. That's, that's something else. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going because I want to finish this one out because this is, I love hearing the whole thing. I'm sorry. Let's, let's finish it and we'll, 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 we'll go in depth with it.
Her lyrics confronting the collateral damage of political unrest capture the same sentiment we wanted to express. Well, I'll get it back. Let me pause it right there. I'll pause it right at the part. Here we go. We wanted to express a quarter century later. That is a testament of the kind of enduring artist that Loris was and will remain forever. Tommy Vert, Bad Wolves. All yes. right. Um, so when mm. Eminem got the green light to sample the zombie chorus in his on his was it the Marshall Mathers LP two album? Yeah. I do believe. Yeah. Um I was very indifferent about that also. It's not just Bad Wolves that it's anybody who is trying to use the song. Yeah. Myself, like many other people in the world, battle with a lot of shit up here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And James known me for over 20 years. He knows it's never been easy for me. With that being said, I I do now have a new appreciation for the version for this version of the song. And I will replay it because um, just a message in the dedication and what they did with the proceeds to this song. Yeah. Um, and the fact, knowing that she greenlit it, and I think her voice and his voice would have meshed so fucking good oh, here man. on this song. They were supposed to put, the thing is that my understanding is that they were supposed to perform this song together um, at some show. I can't remember what the show was. I think was it was, over in was it over in Ireland where she's from? Yeah, something. I think when so. they were going when they were going through all that war and shit. Mm-hmm. And it's just listen, bro. Listen, um, like a, it's to me. This is why I like the song. Okay, this is why I like the I like just like I, and I discussed before, and I felt like especially where we were in 2018, which yeah. was no further away. Um, we were only what a year into you know Trump's presidency, and I don't want to call nobody out. You know what I'm saying? But but we were only a year into the presidency, so which means that every we're fresh off of what happened in the Obama administration towards the end of that. You know what I'm saying? The unrest civilly in in that whole situation. We still at that point our troops weren't home. We were still you know, bombing people and killing people over in Syria and, you know, our troops, our people were getting killed and, um, Benghazi, Hillary Clinton, Benghazi, like all of that, all of that. Cause remember that all of that was only within the last four years at that point in 2018 when this dropped. So when you look at all that, okay, when you, when you put that, uh, you know, into context, like we we can we can't solve our shit at home. We can't solve our shit overseas, and it felt like again it felt like nineteen ninety four all over again, where we just haven't learned a damn thing. You know, we haven't learned as humans. We haven't learned shit. Like you think that the sins of the past would be able to be rectified, and maybe maybe not us because we're adults and we've been through it and you know saying we're trying to pass this knowledge over to the younger generation which is only 10 or 15 years behind us you know what i'm saying and 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 yet we're still doing the same dumb shit we're still following you know we see the shit people being killed we're still being divided by the media divided by political people divided by everybody else we haven't learned a goddamn thing and that's why when I heard this song and on and, and Bad Wolf's take on this song, it hit me in a different way. Like, see, the Cranberries version of the song made me made, it, it hit me, and it also made me understand what they were going through at that time in 1994. Uh, you know, over there when this hit me, it reminded me what the fuck we're going through at this point in time, and that's why it hit different. And unfortunately for us and even our children, shit ain't gonna change. Oh, I mean, all I, I've learned, this is what I've come to accept, okay? Our generation, mine and your generation, I feel especially because we grew up in Vegas, is the, the first set of generation that didn't grow up hating people by the color of their skin. And only yeah. judging people by the content of their character. The stuff that Martin Luther King tried to teach us. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that they passed on in the books. Because that's what we learned in Vegas. Like, when we, we learned that racism was bad, and we should all treat each other with respect. 
Okay, it is, it's not perfect. It's not peaches and cream. But Vegas is the reality is that if we are going to be a society, especially in a society that Vegas is that you have to welcome everybody. Mm-hmm. Or else you, you won't Ve- succeed. Vegas is ba- Ve- Vegas. The basic is basically a hodgepodge of every nationality, race, religion in the world in one small area. Exactly. And if you have any kind of dis- discrimination towards anybody in Vegas, you're not going to last long. I promise you. And so we were the last. We we were the first generation, me and you, of people that grew up in Vegas that didn't grow up with discriminating and then being able to teach our kids not to grow up discriminating or hating people. You know what I'm saying? That's a first. You know, and and like I said, but the but the realization that like in some places the shit just doesn't change, and it's sad. It really is. And I hope. I hope that maybe our kids, our kids are going to be the only ones that are going to be able to fix this because we taught them everything that we know and we've given them the knowledge to, to, to be better people. And it's up to them, you know, saying I can help and nurture, but my time here is to, you know, I got to make sure that they're good and then make sure that my peoples are good. That's all I got. I I don't. Yeah. Basically what we are now with age, we are, I'm 40, he's 39. Um, his wife is, I think, 41. Yeah. Where we're at now is just trying to teach our kids about equality and respect each other, not the hate that the world wants them to see. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Like I said, we're the last, we're the, we're the first of a living breed and the, the, the ones that decided that we were going to not be what maybe our parents or our grandparents wanted us to be. You know what I'm saying? Or, or give us the kind of discrimination or the prejudices our, our grandparents may have had. That's, that's... All right. So before we get off on a tangent here. I know. Um, like I said, <laughs> I will replay this. I will give it a shot. Um, I did like it. I did like it. But like I said, I have bias of what I was going through back then and what that original song means to me. Yeah. Um, but Bad Wolves... They are excellent. Look to see more of their music on our channel, do our reactions to it. I really enjoy Tommy Vex's voice. Mm-hmm. Um, he covered for Five Figure Death Punch for a little while, mm-hmm. and then he started. He was one of those singers who bounced around from groups because his voice is amazing. Yeah. And he did cover work when the lead singer couldn't couldn't perform Yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, but this is a replay for me. I know it's a replay for you. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure you noticed I did get a little emotional during this because I was thinking about shit. Um, I know. When, 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 you see this, when you see this video playback, all you're going to see is me jamming, bro. Like, this is, I take this song to heart. And so, like, but that just, it's my, it's my stress relief. I love this song. The, I, sorry, I love both versions of the song. Trust me, in my, in my playlist, both versions of this song are in my playlist. You know what I'm saying? So, Let's just cut this off right now. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. God damn it. Um, it's okay, bro. It's okay. It's okay. That's what we're here for, man. That's what we're here. Um, if you want to see us, re- what you want to see us to react to, I'm sorry, I'm just about to drop it in the comments. If you're over on Facebook, please like and subscribe. And let us know what you want us to react to. So we here. Um, shout out to Bad Wolves. Shout out to the Cranberries. Shout out to just people. Do better. Do yes, we got to do better. It's 2020. We've been through all the whole shit, especially this year. We've been through a bunch of shit. We got to do better as a society. Um, and that's the thing that we got to take away from this. But with that said, that's my man, Big Sin, over there. And emotional. I'm emotional, too. I'm emotional in a different way. I'm swelled up with joy that he gets to enjoy this song. It feels it in a way that I feel it. So I'm your boy, Hollywood J. Black. This is Sinful Black Reacts. And we out this thing. Deuces. Maybe. Deuces.